Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome week and I hope you guys are feeling the spirit of Christmas as much as I am right now. I just got back from New York City yesterday and for those of you who don't know, um, I was invited to perform at a really special event um, called the Light the World Concert and it was live streamed on the Piano Guys YouTube channel. Um, there were a bunch of really amazing people there performing. I played one solo song and then we all came together for the finale. Um, I played Mary Did You Know, uh, it was Laura and my arrangement of that from our new Christmas album, Songs of Christmas. Um, I just played solo because Laura lives in Australia so that makes it difficult to get together for these types of things. But she was there in spirit and uh, we used her piano track. Um, I just played along with it. It was a really, really special event. Um, I feel very honored that I was able to share the stage uh, not only with piano guys who I've always wanted to work with, but also with so many other really amazing, just nice, wonderful people. If you guys didn't get a chance to check it out live, it's still on the Piano Guys YouTube channel. So if you wanna check out the whole performance, I really encourage you guys to do so because like I said, all of the uh, artists there were so amazing. I was so moved watching their performances. Um, so I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below so you guys can go check out all of those and you can check out my solo performance there too. And also at the end of this video, I'm just gonna tag on um, our finale number. It was just like one verse of Silent Night and we all just kind of, um, you know, put it together right there on the spot during rehearsal just so we could do a number together and it was really special to me because for those of you who know um, Silent Night is the song that inspired me to want to play the violin when I was younger so it was a very special moment for me to be able to play that song um, with so many other great people there and especially the piano guys too so it was definitely a highlight of the evening for me. But really here in this video I kind of wanted to just share with you guys a little bit about my experience with the event because it was it was definitely kind of like a career highlight thing for me um, just working with all of those wonderful people and also um, just you know promoting something that I truly believe in because this is something that's really kind of um, touched me in an emotional way and so I want to share that with all of you guys too. So the Slight the World campaign um, it is associated with the Mormon Church but uh, you certainly don't have to be Mormon in order to participate. I myself am not Mormon. Um, I just consider myself a non-denominational Christian, but it's not anything where you need to be associated with any religion in order to participate because the whole point of it is just really spreading love and positivity and like the name of the campaign, light uh, throughout the world. One of the things that we were all talking about backstage and stuff that I thought was really cool and something that I wanted to share with you um, was just the idea that service, um, while it can be like a grand gesture or a project or something that really requires a lot of time and involvement and commitment, it doesn't have to be that too. Um, I think this time of year especially, um, as much as we want to give back, it's also very difficult because everybody is just so busy and just in everyday life too, but especially around the holidays. What we were talking about was that service doesn't have to be something that's like really outside of your normal life. It can really just be something that you practice in your daily life. So it's not something that's gonna require any extra time or commitment from you guys. It's just something where if you see someone in your daily life, at work, school, whatever it is, who you think could use some help in some positive way, then you know, why not do that? And for myself, I do have a few of those like project type things planned, but I was just really thinking about my attitude and just trying to be a more positive person, um, trying not to complain as much, trying to really, where I see opportunities to, you know, do good for other people just in my daily life uh, to do that. And so I've really been conscious of practicing that in my everyday life throughout this season because of this whole like the world campaign and I feel like such a happier person I just feel really good about it um, so I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that is like sometimes the word service it can be a little daunting but it doesn't have to be something like I said that really like takes up a ton more of your time it can just be a shift in your attitude or you know just like a compliment here or there or just something very simple because sometimes the small and simple things are really the most meaningful to a person. So I would just encourage you guys this season um, to just look for ways that you can kind of serve others in your daily life, um, not only throughout the holiday season, but year round. Um, it just makes such a big difference. And 
this time of year. Um, it can feel really special and magical, but honestly, like with what's going on in the world everywhere, um, I just feel like everyone <laughs> could use a little bit more positivity, a little bit more goodness and light in their life. And so, um, you know, let's just try and do this together. It's something that I'm gonna be doing this season and hopefully for the rest of my life. When you're kind to somebody else, it not only makes you feel good, it makes that person feel good, and then hopefully it inspires that person to kind of pass that kindness on and then it spreads. And that's the kind of thing that we want spreading in the world. We want the light to spread in the world. And on a separate note, I just really wanted to express my sincere thanks to you guys um, for being here and for supporting what I'm doing, for continuously watching and listening to my music and interacting here and just being such a positive force. Like I'm so blessed to have you guys as an audience. You are amazing people and truly like I would not be here without you guys and like the fact that I'm even considered for the kinds of opportunities like the Light the World concert that I just got to be in New York performing with those people that is because you guys have supported me to this point and so i really i cannot express how grateful i am for for being um, involved in these types of things and for just having this kind of a career and i really want to use what i'm doing here in my platform to just you know spread positivity and hopefully inspire other people to you know follow their passions or their dreams or just like do good in the world too so this was just like kind of the perfect thing for me to be involved in and I just feel really blessed and grateful for that and again it, it wouldn't have happened without you guys so I just want to always make sure that I thank you guys. I'm going to be releasing one more Christmas video uh, before Christmas from Mara and my new album so stay tuned for that and then also like I said if you guys want to go check out the entire Like the World concert you can do so on the Piano Guys YouTube channel links will be below and also popping up at the end of this video and uh, Silent Night's gonna play at the end of this video. It was just the little finale that we all did together so you guys can check that out too. Thank you guys so much for listening to this. Uh, this was something that was just very important to me that I've been feeling very inspired by lately so I wanted to share that with you guys and I hope that maybe it inspires some of you guys to use the like the world hashtag and go out there and do some of your own service uh, whatever that may be this holiday season. So. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Christmas season, holiday season, whatever you're celebrating, and I will see you again soon.